Hi, you're about to listen to a story for English listening practice. This story is about a fire that started and never stopped. In fact, the fire is real and you can hear the surprising end in the story, which has a main character called Tommy. Here are some pre-listening questions. Questions. 1. What did Tommy see near the coal mine? 2. What happened to the trash fire? 3. The miners tried to stop the fire. What did they do? 4. Why did many families move away? 5. What did Tommy teach his children about fire? Welcome to the English Listening World podcast, episode number 395. This podcast is for listening practice. I have 27 words and expressions highlighted in today's story for you to practice listening. In particular, the expression so, that is repeated. I will put the list of highlighted words in the description below. One sunny day. In the small town of Centralia, there lived a curious boy named Tommy. Tommy was always eager to explore the world around him, so much so that he often found himself in the most unexpected places. One sunny afternoon, while walking with his dog, Max, near the old mine, Tommy stumbled upon something that would change the town forever. The year was 1962 and Centralia was a quiet mining town. The residents were so used to the sight of coal miners and the sound of the trains carrying coal that it was part of their daily lives. One day, Tommy saw a group of men gathered around a large pile of trash near the mine entrance. They were trying to clean up the landfill by burning the trash, something that was done quite often. But this time, something went terribly wrong. Terribly wrong. As Tommy watched from a distance, the fire began to spread faster than anyone had expected. The men tried to control it, but the flames were so strong that they quickly reached the entrance of the mine. The fire found its way into the labyrinth of coal veins beneath the town. Little did anyone know, the coal would act as a continuous fuel source, turning the fire into an underground monster. Water. Days turned into weeks and the fire continued to burn underground. The ground began to warm up and steam started to rise from the cracks that appeared on the streets. Tommy's father, who worked in the mine, was so worried that he and other miners tried to put out the fire themselves. They poured water into the mine and sealed off the entrances, but nothing seemed to work. The fire was so deep and so vast that it was impossible to reach. The townspeople hoped that the fire would burn out eventually, but it didn't. Instead, the fire spread further underground, making the ground unstable and causing sinkholes to appear. Tommy's school was closed because it was too dangerous for the children to walk to class. The air smelled of smoke, and sometimes Tommy could even see blue flames flickering from the cracks in the ground at night. Years. Years went by and many families, including Tommy's, had to move away. The government declared Centralia unsafe and bought out the homes of those who wanted to leave. Tommy's best friend Sam moved to the next town over and they promised to write letters to each other. Tommy was sad to leave, but he knew it was for the best. The town of Centralia became a ghost town. Only a few stubborn residents stayed, refusing to leave their homes despite the danger. The fire continued to burn underground, so much so that it became legendary. People from all over the country came to see the eerie sight of smoke rising from the ground and the empty streets. 
Firefighter. Tommy grew up and became a firefighter. He never forgot the lessons he learned from Centralia. That sometimes things can get so out of control that you can't put them right, no matter how hard you try. He told his children about the fire beneath Centralia and the importance of being careful with fire. And so the story of the Centralia Mine Fire continues. A reminder of how a small mistake can have huge consequences. So much so that an entire town was changed forever. The fire still burns beneath Centralia, a ghostly flame that will likely continue for generations to come. Answers. Number one, what did Tommy see near the coal mine? He saw some miners burning trash in a landfill. Number two, what happened to the trash fire? The trash fire spread faster than anyone expected and started burning in the mine. Number three, the miners tried to stop the fire. What did they do? They poured water on the flames and sealed the entrances. Question four, why did many families move away? The town was too dangerous for children to go to school and for families to live in. Question five, what did Tommy teach his children about fire? He taught them to be very careful with fire. 